Hi. Hi, Amy. I'm here to pick up my inhaler refill and to let you know that I'm finally ready to quit smoking. The job is going great and I just finally got all moved into the new house. So I'm ready to devote the next few weeks to working on quitting. Lily, that's wonderful. Congratulations on your decision. What can I do to help? Well, I'd like your help in planning this so I do it right. I thought about the quit line you had mentioned, but to be honest, I really like talking to you and would prefer that if you don't mind. Absolutely. I'm happy to help. Um, first, we need to pick your quit day. Do you have any idea when you'd like that to be? Yes. It's going to be next Sunday. I want to start the new week as a non-smoker. Great. So the night before, you'll need to get rid of any remaining cigarettes, uh, as well as lighters and ashtrays. Will do. Did you get a chance to look at any of the information that I gave you uh, about the nicotine replacement products? I did, and I think I'm going to go with the lozenge. I, uh, I'm not much for gum, but I do like the idea of having something in my mouth. Let me grab a box. And we'll review the instructions. Just put a lozenge between your gum and your cheek and let it dissolve naturally. You want to move it around from time to time, but don't bite at it or nibble at it. When you start, I want you to use one lozenge every hour on the hour. That'll give you a nice steady amount of nicotine to help with the withdrawal. You'll do this for six weeks, and after that, we'll talk about how to taper use. Um, to get the full benefit, try not to eat or drink anything other than water for 15 minutes before or while you have the lozenge in your mouth. That will change how much of the nicotine is absorbed. Do you have any questions? No, that sounds pretty straightforward. Tell me this, how soon after you wake up do you have your first cigarette? As soon as I get out of bed. I need something to get me going in the morning. Okay, since you have your first cigarette first thing in the morning, I'm going to start you on the four milligram strength. Okay. okay. Using the medication properly is only half the story. We also need to look at those situations where you smoke out of habit and have a plan to cope with them. When you were here last month, I gave you a technique to help you become aware of how you smoke out of pattern or routine. How did that go for you? It was really interesting. I thought I couldn't talk on the phone without a cigarette, but then I tried not smoking and it really didn't bother me at all. But I did realize that I smoke almost immediately after every meal and a lot in my car. That's going to be tough. Well, the important thing to remember, Lily, is that you don't have to stop doing any of these things. You just have to change how you do them. If you can change the routines, then you can retrain your brain not to connect them with smoking. Hmm, okay. Well, then what should I do after a meal? Oh, well, that one's fairly easy. I want you to get up as soon as you're finished and brush your teeth. Um, if you're going out to a restaurant, just take a small tube of toothpaste and a toothbrush and brush your teeth in the ladies' room. Well, that makes sense. I never smoked after brushing my teeth. Right. Now, what do you think you can do when you're in the car? Um... Well, I could uh, get my car detailed so that the smoke smell is gone and, uh, oh, I could try listening to books on tape so my mind doesn't wander. Those are both great ideas. Finally, do you have someone who can act as a support person while you work through your quit? Absolutely. My best friend Sheila is going to help. We already talked about what she can do. Perfect. So, since Sunday is your quit day, on Saturday night, have your last cigarette. Get rid of any remaining cigarettes, ashtrays, anything that you associate with smoking. Go to bed. When you get up on Sunday morning, start using the lozenges and begin your coping plan. Remember to use one lozenge every hour while you're awake and to make the changes in your after meal and driving routines that we discussed. Thank you so much, Amy. You know, this is the first time that I've tried quitting with a plan, so I feel like this time it's really going to work. Well, I'm confident that you can do this. And remember, if you need any additional help or support, just contact me. Why don't you come in for a few minutes on Monday and let me know how the first day went? I'd be happy to. Great. The technician will bring up your prescription, and I will see you next week. Okay.